So let me ask you a quick question. Which would you rather have more of? Objections from your renters or signed leases? I'll give you a second to think of your answer. You didn't need a second. You already knew what your answer was. You're like, are you kidding me? I'd rather have more leases. All it seems like I get are complaints and objections and negativity from my prospects. And the ones that are interested, well, they tell me they need to think about it. And when I go to call them, they never call me back. My job is so difficult. Well, let's make your job a little bit easier right here, right now. My name's Matt Easton. I'm the founder of Leasing University. Leasing University is the number one sales training system for leasing agents, for leasing consultants, and for property managers in the world. People that go through our training lease seven times more apartments than the rest of the industry. So we live and breathe this stuff. And I wanna really quickly right now, I wanna kinda of try and reframe your perspective on things. And if you're getting a lot of objections and you want more leases, my guess is you may be telling your prospects too much. And I don't mean like, hey, you're letting them know the secret weaknesses of the property or you're letting something out that you shouldn't have talked about. We're all about being fully transparent at Leasing University. But when you're talking, when you're running your mouth, and you're speaking to your prospect and you're presenting and all you're doing is talking about all the great amenities and features that your property has, well, when you're telling, that leads to objections. When you're asking, asking questions, well, that leads to leases. Let me explain. Nobody, nobody likes to be sold to. And when you're listing, oh man, this property's amazing. We've got a saltwater pool. We've got a fitness center. We've got balconies. We're the best, uh, we've got the best location. You told me that you work at uh, Dell. We're right around the corner from Dell. And we've got a place for you to park your bike so you can ride your bike to work and you can park your bike. Well, you're just telling, 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 telling. The way humans' brains work when they're receiving all of that information, they can't help but start to take a defensive position and say, whoa, pump the brakes. You know, are you sure the bike rack's that good? But when you are asking questions and the right questions, and we have a whole section in Leasing University called power questions that help you ask the right questions. Well, when you ask the right question, the right question gets the prospect to think about themselves and give you an answer in terms of you. Let me give you an example. Ah, Dan, you mentioned that you're not living in Midtown right now and you work in Midtown. Yeah, yeah, I'm not living in Midtown. I'm down the highway a bit. Huh, down the highway a bit. What do you mean by down the highway a bit? Uh, well, it's about, you know, I'm about 10 miles away. Oh, okay. What's your, what's your commute like? <laughs> Don't get me started on the commute. I'm, I'm 30 minutes going to work, but then on the way back, it's something about when I leave the office, I'm sitting in the car for 40 minutes, an hour. I've actually, I'm starting to look at gyms in the area because I'm thinking maybe if I just work out, if I stay living down there, I could hit my workout and maybe cut down that drive. Ah, oh, talk to me about that drive. It's miserable. I hate it. Tim, what would it be like if you didn't have to do that drive at all, let's say you could ride your bike to work. Wow, man, my life would be a lot, a lot less stressful. Wouldn't, wouldn't have to do the gym because I'd actually be getting fit riding my bike to work. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, I never really thought about it that way. That's how I want you to engage your prospects. Don't just be telling them, hey, we're a great location, we're right down here in Midtown and we've got bike racks and you can ride your bike. Ask them questions. Questions that get them thinking about themselves. Oh, you mentioned you've got a dog. What do you do right now? Do you, do you have a dog park at, at your place right now? Do you have a, a place for the pets? No, no, we don't have that. Oh, so when the dog's gotta go to the bathroom, what do you do? Oh. I walk the dog, I go down the stairs, I gotta walk across this busy street. Ah, you ever worry about getting hit by a car? Yeah, all the time. Huh, what would it be like if you didn't have to worry about that every night in the middle of the night? Ah, oh, that would be terrific. That's 
how I want you to think about communicating with your prospects. Remember this, nobody wants to be sold to, yet everybody wants to buy. And when you ask them those questions that are about them, well, then they start to put together, hey, what's my current situation and what is my ideal scene? And they get to point the picture for themselves of, hey, I'm here, I wanna be here, this particular apartment community is gonna help me bridge that gap of where I wanna be, whether that's not having to walk my dog across the street or not having to sit in traffic for an hour or having that nicer kitchen to when I come home, I can cook my food and relax and watch the TV because I can see the living room right there. Ask those questions. Don't just be throwing out your general speech on features, on benefits, on the bullet points of the community. Save that for marketing and save that for the website. You're a professional and I want you to ask better questions. I hope this helps. If you want me to elaborate any more on any of this, please leave a comment below. I hope you subscribe to this channel. It's all about helping you. It's all about making your life more easy and helping you lease more apartments in less time with less effort. My name's Matt Easton. Till the next video, I want you to be great and I want you to get those leases. I'll see you on the next video. Ask those questions.